Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a really quick vlog to let you know that our new channel is up and running. So if you're like me, that's not the first time you've experienced that problem. Um, which is when you take the files from your flip camcorder, put them into Windows Live Movie Maker, and the sound gets all high-pitched and out of sync. Um, so... The reason that problem occurs is because flip camcorders produce MP4 files. Um, Windows Live Movie Maker says it supports MP4 MP4 files, but in reality, it only kind of supports them, so they're not really compatible. Um, so I'm going to tell you the easiest way to fix this problem. Okay, first go into FlipShare and select the file or files you want to edit. Next. Export the files into a new folder, um, preferably one on your desktop, just to make things easier for yourself so you can keep track of them easier. Um, so this is what the files will look like when they're in the folder, but you can't really do anything with that. So now we're going to go to the um, Start tab, the bottom left of your screen. Everyone should know where that is, that's how you do everything. And open up the control panel. Okay, this is what your control panel should look like, um, but in order to get anywhere, you have to change the view from categories to large icons, which you can do by clicking on the tab in the upper right hand corner of the window, okay? Next you want to click on folder options, which I have um, circled here. When the little box pops up, click on the view tab, and then um, there should be a little box there you know there's all the little boxes with the checks in them there should be a little box that says hide extensions for known file types and it should be checked so what you're gonna do is um, click on that box to untick it so now the, um, the titles of your video files back in that folder that we put them in should have a dot mp4 at the end so right click on the file you want to edit, select rename, change the .mp4 to .mov. That changes the file type. So now all you have to do is import your files into Windows Live Movie Maker and they should be good to go. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hey guys, I just thought I'd do a really quick 